Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about the beginner steps of how to go vegan. When you first go vegan, don't think of it as if you are going to deprive yourself of some good tasting foods or that you're going to be malnourished. Instead, get excited about the new foods that you are going to try and feel good about doing it. A lot of foods that you will try might actually surprise you how good they taste and you won't really miss the other stuff. For some people it's really easy to go cold turkey but for others including myself it could be a very gradual process. What I did first was I eliminated all meat for one month except for fish and uh, then fish had to go then I stopped all kinds of dairy products and finally I stopped the eggs. It took a couple of years for me to go fully vegan but going vegan was not my intention from the beginning anyway and knowing what I know now I would try and gradually wean myself off of animal products within about maybe two weeks. I suggest to not completely eliminate everything overnight but do it gradually so your mind and your body can both adjust and learn new ways of eating and going about the vegan lifestyle. So explore the new ways you are going to shop and explore new cooking options. Remember, it takes time to get used to the new lifestyle, but it won't be long once you get started. So I would suggest first to start by really educating yourself, read books, watch some documentaries such as Dominion, Forks Over Knives, Cowspiracy, Seaspiracy, What the Health, The Game Changer. There are so many different documentaries right now. I have a lot of resources linked in my description, so take a look in there and start learning about veganism as much as possible so that it's going to be easier to transition. Some of the books that I'm going to recommend is Going Vegan for Beginners, The Essential Nutrition Guide to Transition to a Vegan Diet, The Vegan Starter Kit, Everything You Need to Know About Plant-Based Eating, How Not to Die and How Not to Diet by Dr. Michael Greger, A China Study and Food Over Medicine. So, when I first went fully vegan, I thought that I had to be all in one. I had to follow a zero waste style and a minimalism style, and I had to be proficient in yoga, but that was not a good idea. So, try not to think about all the other things you have to be. You don't have to be a nutritionist, you don't have to be eating everything completely oil free or sugar free all the time. These kind of thinking won't help you in the long run. It creates too much stress and it doesn't really feel right. So try to take it easy on yourself. You don't have to do it all. Just take one step at a time and enjoy the process. Do not beat yourself up. This won't be healthy and you might go back to your old ways of eating and living. So as time goes on, you are definitely going to learn so much more information and you could start incorporating these practices into your life if you still like them. So take your time, do not rush and enjoy the process. So, okay, as I mentioned earlier, it does take some time to learn about this lifestyle, like anything new in life, but don't get frustrated and do not rush. Take one day at a time. And if for some reason you happen to fall off the bandwagon, then climb right back on and don't beat yourself up. It happens. It happens to everyone. It's okay to mess up. We are only human. We have lived our whole lives eating whatever. So it is understandable to sleep up as we are still learning about this new lifestyle. For example, when I first went vegan, after about a year, I decided to try fish at the Indian restaurant. So here's what happened. My husband ordered a fish curry and I was like, it really looks so good and smells good too. So I will just have one bite. So I did have that bite and it tasted really disgusting to me. Well, my husband loved it because after a year of eating plants, my taste buds, they completely changed. And ever since that time, I have not eaten animal products again and not planning to in the future. I don't even want to call them products. 
Right now, it is so much easier than ever to be vegan. So many products are marked as vegan in stores. You don't have to double check the ingredients. They are already marked for you. However, if you are unsure about a certain product, just check quickly the contains area, which usually indicates the common allergens, the common allergens list, such as milk, eggs, wheat, nuts, soy, while soy, nuts, and wheat are vegan, milk and eggs are definitely not. So you would need to avoid that product. Reading the contained section is so much faster than reading the whole ingredients list. So you might want to use that for a quick check. To make your transition easier, you can use mug meats. There are so many mug meats on the market, which I had a few times at the beginning of my journey and that helped me transition and stay away from animal products. I would not recommend consuming these mock meats on a regular basis, but I definitely do recommend them for the beginners as the texture and taste, they would certainly help with easier transition. Also speaking about protein, there are so many options for vegans. You can have legumes like beans, chickpeas, lentils, tofu, tempeh, and and there are so many plant milks available in stores or you can make them by yourself. It is very easy. I can link some video in my description so you can check them out. If you are not used to eating big portions of legumes, then please do not try and eat a lot of them at the very start of your journey. Otherwise, you might experience bloating, bloating and digestion and, digestion and, gas, and gas, which is, which not, is a not a pleasant experience. experience. <laughs> Instead, Try slow and eat like one, maybe two tablespoons of legumes maximum per day and work your way up to a cup or more if needed. Okay, so what's the next step of going vegan? I suggest to do a makeover of your pantry and refrigerators. You need to stock up on plant foods and get rid of any animal products. It will be so much easier if you are not around those foods and only have plants as options. You can go to vegan.com and check out the uh, shopping list and other information. I will leave the uh, link in the description. It's a pretty comprehensive list, so you can find plenty of information there. And if you are like me and live in the non-vegan household, then perhaps you could have an extra fridge in the house or at least a drawer or a shelf for your vegan food items. I have the whole fridge just for vegan stuff and it really works for me. Now, if you go vegan, don't think that you can never have desserts or your special treats. There are plenty of vegan options available. You can have some dark chocolate, just make sure there are no milk products in the ingredients list. Because some dark chocolates have milk added, unfortunately. You can also make easy, tasty desserts by yourself. I have many videos about how to do just that. So check out my description, it's all in there. Now, these desserts should still be considered as treats, but since you eat majority of the time whole food, plant-based meals, it's okay to indulge once in a while. It's better to do it this way than restricting and then binge eating like crazy. I also noticed that a lot of people say that they cannot eat vegan because they always stay hungry. So why is that? Okay, first of all, plants are so much lower in calories than meats and cheese and butter and all of that. So of course you will feel hungry if you try to eat same portions as you used to. When eating plant meals, you might have to increase the size of your plate in order to feel full and satiated. You won't always have to eat that way. Your body is going through a transformation period and it will adjust to the best portion that suits its needs. But in the meantime, do not starve yourself or deprive yourself from calories. Eat an abundance of plant foods and trust the process. Use apps like Chronometer at the beginning to track your calorie intake a few times so you know how much calories you consume until you get used to your new way of eating. Also, check out 
nutritionfacts.org to make sure you cover all your bases and eat a good variety of foods so you stay healthy. There is a checklist that Dr. Michael Greger created and it shows what kind of foods you have to eat daily. It's a great start for sure. Okay, when I first went vegan, I thought it is such a restrictive diet that I had to remove this and that and what am I, what going, am I going to, to eat? eat? But in reality, I discovered a whole new plethora of tastes and textures. I discovered so many new dishes and spices and cuisines that I don't look at it as depriving, but instead it is an abundance diet. So don't look at it as a deprivation diet because it is completely the opposite. It is a very rich and diverse diet. So let these amazing foods naturally replace all the animal foods that you are used to. So eat in abundance of fruits, vegetables, try incorporating new ones here and there. Eat nuts, seeds, lentils, tofu, whole grains, seaweeds and mushrooms. And if you need, at the very beginning, you can have some textured vegetable proteins or mock meats just to help ease the transition. So please take some time and figure out a few of your favorite meals that could be your backup meals and you can eat them on repeat at the very beginning. Check my videos in the description. Check YouTube. There are so many options these days that I'm sure you can find something that suits your tastes. Learn a few easy recipes. Do not overcomplicate things. The easier the better and more likely that you will eat and enjoy them. Veganize your favorite dishes by substituting meat with either mock meats or legumes. Soy milk you can have instead of cow's milk. Cream cheese with vegan cream cheese. Butter with vegan butter. So you get the idea. And don't forget about meal prepping as it could be a real game changer. Just have some staples like cooked rice or some other grain, some beans cooked, so you can mix and match this into some dishes. Or make yourself a dish that you wouldn't mind eating for two or three days. I personally really enjoy making curries in big batches and they last for for quite a few days. <laughs> so they are awesome as a meal prep. Or you can make a big batch of soup, but make sure you always have something on hand so you wouldn't think about going to some fast food restaurant to get your fix now i think the most important tip that i can share here that helps me stay vegan over these last nine years is to know why i'm doing this why do you want to go vegan for example my main reason is because i do not want to harm animals I do not want to support this cruel industry. For example, I definitely do not want to kick a dog or a cat. Then why would I want to cut a throat of a pig or a cow? Just for my taste buds for 15 minutes of pleasure? This is why I am vegan. I'm vegan for the animals. It is also so much healthier to eat plant-based diet. So I eat plants for my health. There are already so many studies done on this topic that now is definitely the time to switch for sure if you want to get healthier. So what is your why? Are you vegan for animals or your health or the planet? So definitely know your why and perhaps write it down so you can see it on a daily basis as a reminder. Knowing your why also helps you with cravings as it reminds you why you choose that path when you get a craving it is okay and totally normal and you just have to understand that it will take time for cravings to disappear completely in the meantime just know why you are doing it and it will make things so much easier you will start looking at that piece of meat very differently you won't look at it as something that oh no you cannot have but instead you will look at it as a life you just saved and that you just saved yourself a few years or that you reduce your carbon footprint on this planet so you are doing a lot of good by avoiding eating animals now it doesn't matter what your reason for going vegan is i do not judge anyone but it is certainly important to know why you decided to do it as it definitely helps in the long run now let's talk about supplements but first of all i'm not a doctor so i cannot recommend you any supplements 
and you should talk to your healthcare physician first or a dietitian. But I personally supplement with vitamin B12 and most people actually should supplement with that too. And no, this is not just for vegans, but for majority of people eating all sorts of diets. In short, B12 is, is a bacteria that's blanketing the earth. However, we live in this super sterilized world, which is a good and a bad thing, but B12 is very hard to get in this clean world without supplementing it. So you can read more about it in the articles that I linked down below for you. I also supplement vitamin D and omega-3s, but if you live in the warm climate, you probably get plenty of sunshine vitamin D, otherwise you might want to supplement it. Just make sure it is a vegan form of vitamin D and not derived from a sheep. I also supplement omega-3 DHA EPA in the algae form. Now, there is always some sort of debate going on pro or against supplementing these and you can read about it when you do your research. I choose to supplement but you decide what's good for you. And if you are not sure about which supplements to take, once again, please check with your doctor or dietitian and help them work with your vegan lifestyle. I think it's better to be safe than sorry, so please do your research and figure out what's best for you. Speaking of doctors, I also suggest to do your blood work before starting this lifestyle, which can be a good baseline or it's good just to see the progress or to just be more confident or to reassure your loved ones that things are going well. If there is something missing, you can take care of it right away. However, if whole food plant-based diet is done correctly, there shouldn't be any deficiencies at all. Okay guys, I really hope that I covered some of the most important topics in this video and if you feel that anyone needs this information, then please share it with them. I really hope this video will help you or someone who is just starting on the vegan journey. If you do have your questions or any vegan topics you would want me to make videos about, please comment below and I would be happy to look into that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.